See you trying way too hard to fit in. We going shopping, loser, get in. What's good, guys? What's popping? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for returning. Y'all already know I am D. A. And by the title, we are doing part two of the quarantine clothing haul, whatever you wanted to call it. The first one I did basics. Um, and this one, these are more chill things that I would have normally bought. Um, pretty much kind of on the same same wavelength, but before we hop in the video, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do me that favor and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you share the video. Do whatever you want to do with the video. But without further ado, you guys already understand the gist of what we're doing here. So we're going to hop straight into the video today. And we're going to see what it was that I picked up. Got the first cop that I have, we have a black tee. I love black clothes, whether it be pants, shoes, shirts. But we have right here, this. it is a little wrinkled, so excuse me. But we have the fantasy tee. Yes. If you guys are hip to fantasy, make sure you get hip to fantasy. Shout out to Young Gray. Um, this is a sample tee. Um, so this hasn't came out. That's what happens when, you know, you, you get perks when you're friends with people who do cool things. So this is just a black tee. Um, it has the fantasy logo. It has the cool, um, font styles on it. Kind of Star Wars-y, kind of like nightclub-ish theme going on. So just black t-shirt with a uh, white screen print graphics um this t-shirt is really really nice it's a really heavy durable thick material which i like and i mean you can never go wrong with having a black tee everybody needs just to throw on black tee and this is great for that all right so the next piece that we have is this martine rose i believe it's considered sun dye um, but this Martine Rose black tee, um, it has the Martine Rose lo logo in white, um, as well as the detailing on this shirt is really, really nice. Um, I believe it's called Sun Dye, but you can see that it, it fades into like these browner colors, especially on the sleeves. This is a long sleeve tee. I believe I purchased this from, um, a website called Road and Gray, if you're not sure what that is go check it out i it's crazy because i bought this shirt and then like i want to say a week later this shirt went on sale so i i bought this at um regular retail price but this shirt i really do like this shirt um since it is long sleeve it is like a thinner material but it's still thick and sturdy enough to where it doesn't lose its shape it doesn't stretch out um it fits the body or at least my body let's say um nicely exactly how i wanted it to and overall it's a really nice shirt i got it in a size medium um because i wanted this just to be like a regular fitted shirt um but this shirt is really nice and really comfortable and again it's black duh if y'all don't get it by now i freaking love black that's what i do that's my go-to period then what we're going to get into next is some pants. So I have bought a pair of, these are like a, they're blue, but they're like a grayish blue. These are Rick Owens Dark Shadow um, pants. I believe these are the Austin cut, maybe, or are they like, I don't, I don't remember what cut they are, but uh, again, these are kind of like the rag and bone jeans on the last video they have the buttons going down the front yeah these are the austin cut and if you know you know <laughs> but uh these jeans i really really love these jeans i love the color fade or the color wash rather on these jeans they feel great they feel good anybody who knows knows that rick owens is some of the best denim 
I personally have a couple of pair of Rick Owens that I like to go to and these have become one of my like go-to pairs of denim. I've been trying to, you know, like get out of wearing just black denim all the time. So I have bought, you know, these were one of the pair where they're not black and I absolutely, absolutely love these jeans. These are nice. Um, I want to say, I don't remember how much I spent on these, but it was well worth it. I, I believe I bought these um, like a couple of months ago, but these were definitely well worth it and I love them. Can't beat that. The next thing we have, I showed you one last video, but I bought another long black coat. Um, this is by Hajim or Hana Tajima. I believe I don't remember the actual designer but I purchased this coat from Uniqlo this was one of the coats I also got on sale basically it's a black long coat again this one kind of comes probably down to the knee it is belted um, and it does have like the slits on the side of the jacket um, it has the buttons down the front it's just basically all black this is like a slimmer long coat um, so this is very nice for, you know, more dressier outfits. Even with casual outfits, you could pull it off. But me personally, this is for, you know, when I got to get a little dressy on them. Again, this is kind of thin. So you would want to probably layer this if you're wearing it anytime soon. Just because it's super cold and this is not heavy enough to keep you warm. You will freeze and be pissed so yeah definitely for layering purposes but um long coats and things of that nature I've always been a fan of um so I've been trying to incorporate a little bit more of those in my personal style um as well as when it comes to shoes we only have two pair of shoes this time and I feel like these two pair of shoes both um mean a lot to me um I don't want to say mean a lot to me, but they're both special to me. I love the both of these two pair of shoes. And the first one we're going to start with is the Gray House Club Gray Chuck 70. Another unreleased staple piece. I do have a lot of unreleased things um, from the Gray House brand. Just because everything's not for everybody. But these are definitely sample runs of the black and white Chuck 70 Club Gray chuck super comfortable super like stylish easy to wear i love these shoes these are another go-to you could pretty you could definitely throw these on with any outfit dress them up dress them down but these are a go-to um in chuck 70s honestly in my opinion i prefer chuck 70s over your regular just chuck taylor that's just my opinion personally but these are another one that I hold near and dear to me. This is a two of two. Um, the only other person that has a pair of these is Young Gray. And I cherish these a lot. This is probably, if not topped, like, if not top shoe on my sneaker collection, this is definitely within the top three of the sneakers that I do have. I freaking love these shoes so much. So much, so much. And they're so nice. And then we also have for the more relaxed, what are those? What are the office? Chilled vibes. We also have the Gucci um, horse bit loafer, horse bit leather loafer. Um, these I really, really do appreciate. The leather on these are crazy. It's like the some of the best leather leather ever that I felt. Um, the only thing I will say with these, because the leather in these are so like well constructed, these are a little tight. I should have went a size up. I believe I had got these in a 37. And I kind of should have got them in a 38. I only went with a 37 because, you know, sometimes um, loafers can run a little weird. And then when they're big, they get to flip flopping and nobody wants that. So I went with the 37, which is like normally a perfect fit for my foot. However, since the leather of these is so 
nice and like so tight so to speak these are a little tight on my feet um and I don't wear them as much as I want to just because they are tight on my feet I am gonna go ahead and buy a 38 because I do love this shoe just that much to you know go ahead and purchase another pair um I feel like this is a classic shoe this shoe you can wear forever again this is something that you can wear with jeans this is something you could dress up and wear with you know some type of casual pants or dress whatever I love these shoes I feel like um every designer shoe you have doesn't have to be like a sneaker or like a super you know like popular heel sometimes you just need like a basic loafer some people told me I was crazy for buying these because they said they look like some like Zara or H&M loafers but I bang with these personally and I love wearing these besides the fact that they are very snug and they kind of hurt but y'all get the drift so other than that guys that's all I'm going to show you for today's video um overall for the most part everything in this haul is pretty much my normal style and the normal things I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis um nothing is too outlandish nothing's too far off but I enjoy it everything is black I know I know I know I wear a lot of black but I feel like that's like the best color to wear when it comes to outfits so mm, I mean my opinion so guys that's all we have for today I'm gonna keep it short I'm gonna keep it sweet and simple um I appreciate you guys for tuning into the video and watching me seeing what it is that I like what I picked up um make sure you guys like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a comment matter of fact leave a comment and tell me your favorite brand and your favorite color let's do that so let's run up those comments um again i appreciate you guys for tuning in and that's it that's all we got i will see you guys in the next video